Toothbrush. <laughs> it's just, essential. Are we going to kill something tomorrow? Dude, we're going to kill something tomorrow. 10 hours. Oh my god, I freaking dropped him, dude. I cannot believe this. I cannot freaking believe this. Mountain. Up on the mountain. Is it filming? It is filming. Well, first off, we're teaching Eric how to use my camera. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> it's working. Um, we got a five minute drive to the trailhead, and then about a two hour hike. Um, and we're gonna go kill an elk this morning. It's morning number one, it's Colorado. Over the counter. Um, so we just wanna get into some, some elk. That's really all we care about. Let's get we'll after see it. you soon. Yes! All right. This morning at 4, 4 a.m. Started hiking about 5. Uh, took about two hours to hike in here. And we sat this um, this spine. And we were just glassing up in here and unfortunately didn't find any elk. So it is 8.30 now. Um, and we're just going to kind of work our way over yonder to hopefully find uh, some elk. But we'll just keep moving until we get onto them and then... Make a, make a game plan from there. So we've got all of our stuff. So we're ready to sleep out here. Hopefully we don't bump them. So that was a bust, but we've got a new spot we're gonna sit tonight. Um, it's like 2.30 right now. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a nap. Uh, kick the feet up for a little bit, and then probably use tonight just a glass and kind of get an idea of where the elk might be, so. Well, I'm set up for the evening hunt. Um, Eric and I split up. Eric uh, is hunting a little bit up further, just 
glassing the other side of this. And then I'm gonna hunt this big sage section. Uh, hopefully they they come out to feed. I've seen them in here before, so we'll see. Unfortunately, we didn't see any elk that night. So we headed to camp to make a game plan to sit the same location the next morning. A little chilly last night. <laughs> yeah, it's a little chilly out. Well, we, uh, <coughs> yeah, we froze last night and then we sat, Eric sat up here and then I sat a little bit lower. Um, just hoping we'd get something moving through. We can cover a lot of country up here and unfortunately, no elk. A lot of deer, but no elk. So, I think we're gonna probably head up higher, uh, see what, see if we can see any sign, fresh sign, and then go from there. some lunch. Eric and I decided to eat lunch on top of a south facing slope. Following lunch, we still stalked the spine of that slope, hoping to catch some elk out feeding. As we continue to crawl along, on the very far end, at the top of the slope, I noticed a bull elk tucked up in the timber on the very edge of feeding. I don't see antlers yet, but he's very white, so I'm guessing it's... As I tried to line up a shot, unfortunately, the bull just never presented himself. He was tucked behind some trees, and the only shooting lane I had was if he had moved forward about 10 yards. We're not sure exactly what spooked the bull, but the bull went the opposite direction and never gave us the chance. Eric and I continued to still stalk until we got into a position where we were where the elk was. From there, we caught his tracks and continued onward. Was his, was his butt. Eric was able to see his, his antlers, but um, he got wind of us, I think, and bumped. So we uh, ended up chasing his tracks for probably about a mile, just because it, they were coming towards where we wanted to be tonight. Um, and so we followed him basically till dark. And now tonight we're just sitting in this little sage patch, um, mainly just taking a break. And so the plan is tonight about half a mile up, there's another really nice opening. So we're gonna hike through the dark and camp out. And then hopefully, uh, hopefully there'll be more sign. We didn't see much sign at all tonight, other than the, the bull elk that we were chasing, so. 
yeah, we're gonna move up and hopefully we're getting them tomorrow morning, so. And tomorrow's our last day. So we'll have to get it done in the morning. And then we'll hike it out. Okay, Matt, what's gonna happen this morning? Well, we got about a 400 yard hike. And we're gonna set up on uh, Golden Meadow and then hopefully kill a bull. That's the plan, because it's our last morning, so. We'll see. As Eric and I continued to still stalk towards the trail, I found a location that overlooked a decent amount of country with some nice south-facing slopes. It was still early and I knew the elk may be out on the slopes being that it was cold the night before. I told Eric, let's just sit here for a minute and take it all in. As Eric was putting down his pack, sure enough, I located a mature bull bedded down on a south-facing slope at 550 yards. Eric and I contemplated, but decided to take the shot from there, being that it didn't look like there are many other options. At this point, the bull worked his way up to the left. The bull stopped right before he crested over the ridge line and presented me with a perfect quartered away broadside shot. Unfortunately, I kicked the camera right before my fourth shot and therefore you can't actually see the hit on film. That said, you can certainly hear the impact of the bullet when it hits. Oh. Oh my god, I freaking dropped him, dude. I cannot believe this. I cannot freaking believe this. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. We have worked so freaking hard. So freaking hard. I dropped him. I saw him just tumble. <laughs> I hit that ball at 550 yards. I wounded him. We came up, we bumped him and Eric spotted him at 100 yards. And I just prone, just put it on him and just moved it. Let's go get our hands on him. Dude, are you kidding me? Uh, uh. All right, so my bowl's right there. Well, here is my 2023 Colorado over-the-counter second season rifle bull. Uh, what a treat it is to, to be able to harvest a bull like this. 
in an over-the-counter unit. Um, Eric and I have worked really hard over the last three days to get a bull like this on the ground. Um, you know, this unit, you don't see many elk at all. And we're fortunate enough, we saw, saw a bull yesterday, had a pretty close encounter with a bull, uh, much smaller, we believe. But uh, yeah, to stumble upon this bull on the way down the mountain was pretty cool. Um, was able to put a 550 yard shot on him, which ended up, uh, you know, making him bed down and we could come up and finish him off. So now the fun, fun begins. Uh, my buddy Trent's driving up from Denver to help us pack him out. So there'll be three of us total. Um, and we've got about a two and a half mile hike to the truck, um, which sh shouldn't be terrible. So here he is. Uh, truck's backed, elk's in the back, kinda, somewhat sticking out, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna head to dinner, and that's a wrap on this hunt. <laughs>